My name is Macy Keister, and this is my last lecture. Chapter 1, An Injured Lion Still Wants to Roar. Everyone has one specific animal that represents their own character traits. I chose a dolphin to represent me because like a dolphin, I live a very adventurous lifestyle with an outgoing and happy personality. Chapter 4, The Parent Lottery. I am thankful to have such loving parents who always influence me to be the best possible version of myself that I can be. I consider my older sisters two of my best friends. I can always count on them to have my back and help me through any situation I am in. Chapter 7 Never Made It to the NFL my dad is the person who has been with me from the start and has always been my biggest fan. He has formed me into the softball player I am today and I know that he always wants the best for me on and off the field. I am so lucky to have him in my life. Chapter 11, The Happiest Place on Earth. Disneyland is a place where people from all around the world can go and have the time of their lives. Throughout my childhood, I have been going to Disneyland with family and friends. It is a place that I can truly be myself and have fun no matter who I am with. It brings me joy and never fails to put a smile on my face. It really is the happiest place on earth. Chapter 21, J. As I have gone through life, I have been fortunate enough to have met many people who have looked after my important needs and have kept me centered in life. These people have taught me the most important life skills and lessons that I will carry with me every day for the rest of my life. Because of them, I don't take things for granted and I'm thankful for each and every one of them every day. Chapter 24, A Recovering Jerk. I know that I am not perfect and I have many flaws. I live and learn from every single mistake I've ever made every single day. I'm thankful for the mistakes that I've made because they have helped shape me into the person I am today. Chapter 28, Dream Big. In life, you will always come across people who will tell you that you aren't good enough. You should never listen to what those people have to say. Let them push you just to work harder so that you can accomplish whatever dream you have set for yourself. Chapter 53, Never Give Up. It is important to set goals for yourself as you go through life because without goals, you wouldn't push yourself to be the best you could possibly be. The process of reaching your goals could be the hardest thing you've ever had to do, but the most important thing is to never give up and when things get hard, you just have to work even harder.
Chapter 56, Tigger or Eeyore. I would not classify myself as either one of those characters. Instead, I would characterize myself as a guardedly optimistic character. I am a realist who has a positive outlook on life and the possibilities of the world around me. Chapter 61, Dreams Will Come to You. I don't want to look back on my years as a teenager thinking that I could have done something different, worked a little harder, or just regret any of the choices I have made. To make sure that I accomplish all of my dreams that I set for myself, I will take all the important lessons anyone has ever taught me and put them to use. Thoughts and Reflections The last lecture has taught me many things. The first thing that it has taught me is to enjoy the little things in life because you don't know when it could all change. The second thing is, let all you do be done in love. The last thing that has taught me is to live life with no regrets. Everything happens for a reason, so make the most of the worst situations. Thank you for watching.